Hello. I received this strange message from my angel team about it started about two weeks ago and I still am not quite sure if I'm processing it right but it's been repeated to me that I should share the message so perhaps when I share it the right people will hear it who it's for and you guys might understand it better than I do I understand it in many ways for me personally I'm still expanding on that but I feel this message is for a very very select few people okay it's I think only a, only a very small percentage of people are going to connect and resonate with this message but it's got to do with those of us who have Mary in our name in our names okay so if you have if your name is Mary or Miriam so I had I had this energy this frequency come to me and I was told that it was an extension of the angelic collective the nameless ones that I am part of and that I channel for and they call themselves the Miriam the Miriam and it was a very strong powerful divine feminine energy it radiated strength and calmness and peace and beauty and femininity and they said to me we are the Miriam and we are here to share and evolve our frequency now on earth within the human consciousness the collective and they went on to explain that years ago, many, many years ago, when you were what was called an adept or a healer, or in modern terms, we'd call it a light worker, you would go on to schools of teaching to master your skills of healing and energy and how to work with the ethers and how to work with spirit and how to become a master human being. And many people were sent to Egypt. Now I've always felt a deep connection with ancient Egypt. I know I've had many lifetimes there. There's one particular lifetime that stands out to me that I've had visions and dreams and I've seen things and I've been shown things much more in my, my my childhood and my teenage years I was shown a lot of things about that and I was very drawn to books about Egypt and just it was so familiar to me and I understand now what that was about but many many of us in previous lifetimes or past lifetimes who were also healers and light workers and high priestesses would have been sent to Egypt and places like that to, to further your study. Now Yeshua, also known as Jesus, himself and many others who were considered prophets or had extra sensory gifts where healers had the ability to heal they would have been well recognized in those skills from a young age and they were sent to Egypt and sent to other parts of the world so that they could master their craft. And that's actually where he met Mary of Magdala, otherwise known as Mary Magdalene. And I'm always saying to people, you should read the Magdalene manuscript by Judy Sion and Tom Kenyon if you haven't read it. And I highly recommend it for men and women. It's um, not just for women it's it's 
it's a beautiful book about relationships and love and sex and and union but um anyway so the miriam was explaining that in those times in the ancient times and in previous lifetimes of mine and other people you were given the name a mary the name mary was a title it was a title for healing. It was a title for being a healer, for being psychic, for being a high priestess. So there was Mary Magdalene, there was Mother Mary, right? There's all these Marys. And my, my name is Aileen Mary Doyle. And as a little girl, I really identified with the name Mary. And actually my parents used to sing a song <laughs> And it was a song like about Mary Ann and I, you know, it was, I almost felt it was like an alter ego. Mary was like another aspect of me. I was aware of that. Now my grandmother, my mother's mother's name was Mary. My father's mother's name was Molly. And Molly is an Irish version of Mary. One of my oldest, dearest friends is called Mary. So Mary is another variation of Mary so that's what the Miriam was explaining to me we are the Miriam meaning we are the frequency of these high priestesses of this divine sacred feminine energy Miriam Mary Mary Marie okay you've all these so if you have a Mary Marie Mary variation in your name somewhere it can indicate this is what they were saying it can indicate that you have that healer gene in your soul, right? In your spiritual DNA, you have that light worker, high priestess energy about you. You can use your hands, you can use the tones, you can use your voice, you can use the light and the presence of your aura. And you have that profound, maternal, nurturing, nourishing, frequency to you and your name is a badge of honor they said and the Miriam went on to explain how it's no coincidence that in this lifetime you hold the name Mary or Miriam or Mirren or Mary and, and there's so many variations but they're all from that Mary frequency that is the divine feminine so perhaps that will open something in you if you're resonating with this message. Of course, that's not to say if you don't have any of those names that you're, you're you know, I'm not by any stretch of the imagination saying that if you don't have that name, you're not a healer. That would be absurd, right? But it's just, I feel like the Miriam wants me to share this message because some people are doubting themselves and questioning their abilities or questioning whether or not they should go public with their unusual spiritual gifts and as you know I started up this channel to reach out to people who felt alone in being a spiritual being alone in being a light worker or high priestess or an alternative holistic therapist and I just wanted I just wanted to reach out to anyone who felt isolated and then of course I start channeling about the blue rays and the crystal souls and the indigo souls so if you're interested in that you can always go back into my videos there's lots on that as well so yeah the Miriam were a beautiful energy it, it was a very nourishing maternal energy and I felt I felt the same feeling of being wrapped up in your mother's arms when you're a babe and you feel like you're safe in the world and you have your place in the world. And I just thought it was a very unusual message. I thought it was so interesting. And the fact that they, because they came to me and they said, A.V. Mary, and they said, you know, you've done this for many, many lifetimes and those of you who have the title of Mary it was a title so 
Mary Magdalene was called Mary of Magdala. So she was the Mary, the healer, the high priestess of Magdala, right? That's the kind of way it was done. So Jesus of Nazareth, right? You were kind of, um, but the Mary title was, it was an extension of your spiritual nature, your service to mankind and your service to others. So if you have this name, you probably find that you do feel drawn to serve others. You do feel that you hold the light and hold the space for others. And it can be just, it's just sometimes nice to get these little confirmations from spirit, from the Miriam, from the angels to encourage us. And, you know, my messages here are always about, I'm, I'm always cheering people on. That's my role you know is to be a beacon of love and to spread love and share love and if this gives somebody even just an extra drop of confidence to step into their spiritual nature more well then this message has served its purpose so thank you so much merry blessings